Hey guys, this is Dan Hood again, Big DH 2000. A long time back, gosh, it's probably almost, it's well over a year, I think, maybe even closer to two years. Setman and his son Linus, I believe is how they say it, uh, were on a vacation. You know, his whole family was on a vacation in Spain, and they came across two very interesting pieces of wood that Linus wanted to send to me. So Setman bagged them up and sent them. One actually he had to fumigate and take ants out of, which I already finished and you'll see that in a multiple part series in my video series. The other one I've been quietly working on in the background for a long, long time. Uh, just, you know, little stuff whenever I was inspired. But anyway, here it is. It's actually Spanish olive wood. Okay. Now you can see I have I have spent so much time filling this handle. I filled it once, had a piece of wood here that when I started sanding fell off, so I had to fill in a second time. Then you can see where I filled in with super glue in places and different kinds of stuff. I mean, and then this, you know, is still some holes in here. It's just the handle has never been super sturdy, but I made it sturdy. I also um, vacuum chambered it and treated it with cactus juice. But if you look, the forks are amazingly strong and sturdy. There's only this one little spot here where it goes up. But other than that, the forks are incredibly strong in this olive wood and the grain runs just right for these two forks. So I cut some slots in. I Z folded the band, stuck them in, and it's pretty much a through the fork shooter. Okay. Um, Spanish olive wood, lovingly <laughs> restored, I guess you could say. I don't know if I'll do any more on it. If it inspires me, I might, but as you can see, there's all kinds of weird patches and everything. But in the end, it's solid and sturdy. I really like it, and it's one of those where it was kind of more of a work of love and art. Setman, tell Linus if I show him this. It took me a long time to do it, bud, but I finally got it to where I can use it. And as you can see, beautiful grain and spalting and color, and I mean, the thing is just insane. And because it was so wide, I decided not to use it as an over-the-top but rather as a through the fork and that's how I may put a matchstick set up in sometime but the Z fold seems to be holding very well and it's extremely strong anyway guys the unique one for the night or for the year shall we say once again if you ever have one of these really retarded chewed up forks that you find Send it to me and we'll see what we can do.